Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about passing pointers to a function. Pointers are often passed to a function as arguments. So when pointers are passed to a function as arguments, then it means addresses of data items are passed to a function as arguments. So when the addresses of data items are passed to a function as arguments, then uh, the content which is stored at that addresses that uh, content or we can say that data items whose addresses have been passed as arguments to a function those data items can be accessed freely inside the function and whatever the changes are made inside uh, the function to these uh, data items these changes are reflected outside the function also it will be more clear after this example now see this program in this program you can see this uh, add one function the formal argument of this add1 function is an integer pointer variable ptr. Now see what happens inside this add1 function. Inside the add1 function, the value which is stored at the address is specified by this pointer variable ptr. That value is increased by 1. Right. So what happens inside this add1 function? Inside this add1 function, the value which is stored at the address is specified by this pointer variable ptr. That value is increased by 1. Now let us see what happens inside the main function. In first line you can see that we are declaring an integer pointer variable p and also we are declaring an integer variable i. This integer variable i is initialized by the value 10. In next line you can see that the address of integer variable i is assigned to the pointer variable p. In next line you can see that we are calling this add1 function. And this pointer variable p is passed as an argument to this add1 function. So as you can see here this uh, pointer variable p stores the address of integer variable i and the value of integer variable i is 10. So the value is stored at the address specified by pointer variable p is 10. Now when this uh, add1 function is called and uh, this uh, pointer variable p is passed as an argument to this add1 function then what happens this function will increase the value which is stored at the address is specified by pointer variable p by 1 right so when this uh, function is called then what happens inside the function inside the function the value which is stored at the address is specified by the pointer variable p that value is increased by 1 so it means uh, uh, the value which is uh, stored uh, at the address is specified by pointer variable p that value will become 11 right because before calling the function that value was 10 so when this uh, function is called inside the function that value will become 11 right and uh, that change will be reflected inside the main function also right so after calling this function in next line you can see we uh, have uh, used this printf function here we are printing the value which is uh, stored at the address specified by pointer variable p. So as you can see here that uh, when that value is printed we will get the output 11 right 11 will be printed because uh, whatever the changes have been made inside this function add one these changes will be reflected inside the main function also these changes will be reflected outside the add one function also. So what happens when a pointer is passed to a function, the address of the data item is passed to the function and the contents of that address can be accessed freely either within the function or within the calling routine. Any change that is made to the data item that is to the contents of the address will be recognized in both the function and the calling routine. So the use of pointer as a function argument permits the corresponding data item to be altered globally from within the function.